Here we go. Act three. Everything that lives is designed to end. I am perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the God who blessed me with this cryptic puzzle and wonder if I'll ever have the chance to kill him. She is A2, attacker number two, a test model for Yorha. The first time I was deployed to the front lines was the year 11,941, on December 8th, during the 14th Machine War in the Pearl Harbor Descent Mission. Decisive weapons created for the sole purpose of recapturing Earth from the machines. That was us. That was Yorha. The target of destruction was a server created by the machine lifeforms on the island of Oahu. The server was the backbone of the network encompassing the entire Pacific Ocean. And the plan, if succeeded, would greatly influence the battle. However, due to an unexpected attack from the machines, our team suffered great losses. We joined with the area's resistance members, but one by one. By the time I'd reached the server room, most of my companions had been killed. We'll find it eventually. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and within that server room, A2 came to know the truth behind their mission. Every one of their battles had been predetermined by the commander. Their true purpose was the collection of experimental data in order to create a more finished product. Within the experimental bodies of A2 and her comrades, bombs had been placed. Our bodies contain bombs? That'll explode when we stop showing signs of life? No! This can't! Every battle had been planned. Every death had been planned. And as A2 fell into despair, her friend called out to her. Number two, I'll destroy this place, so please live on. <laughs> no! Number four! It was the final attack, a suicide attack. The server room was then enveloped in a bright flash. Number four! The enemy server was destroyed. All enemies within a 250 kilometer radius went completely silent. Their influence over the, their influence over the entire Pacific Ocean had been rewritten. And I survived. I lost the goal I'd been fighting for, as well as betrayed the commander I was supposed to believe in. And yet, my life still remained. My comrades who lost their lives, the Yorha members who'd been shot down, the Resistance members, everyone. Number 21, number 16, number 4. I... I'll... The black box belonging to the Yorha member known as Number Two was still online. She was acknowledged as the holder of information for the most important confidential Yorha plan. In order to prevent this information from leaking, Yorha test unit, Attacker Number Two, was to be destroyed. That was all. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, huh, okay. Attacker number two, A2. She actually had an obedient, kind personality. She hated fighting more than anything else. She thought of her friends above anyone else. Her type of thinking didn't fit a soldier at all. 
However, during my first descent mission, I lost most of my comrades. The commander had planned those battles all along, while praying to those who died. I lost who I was. For a deserter like A2, there was nowhere she could return to. But she couldn't just throw away the life they'd given her. I destroy more machine life forms every day. I don't believe a day will ever come where we reach a victory over them. But I can never forgive them for what they did to my comrades. So I'll continue to fight for myself. She fought, she broke, she repaired herself, and then she repeated it. That pain, and that pain alone, was proof that she was alive. But one day, she came face to face with an enemy she'd never imagined she would see. You're her test model, attacker number two, A2, right. You're... The opponent A2 had been met with was a new, state-of-the-art Yorha model. And her face was exactly the same as A2's. The same face as me? A number two model? They can't be! Are they mass-producing new Yorha units based on my battle data? A2. I have orders from the Council of Humanity for your termination based on the leakage of confidential information and the failure to manage said information. Orders for my termination? My name is 2E, number 2 Type E. I was dispatched from the bunker to carry out your termination. Kindly cease function and hand over control of your body immediately. Otherwise, I'll be forced to destroy you. <laughs> Oh, you were dispatched from the bunker, were you? To terminate me. You said you were an execution model. So they created a Yorha unit with the same face as me and then sent her to kill me just so they could cover up their sin. <laughs> A2. <laughs> I don't have the time to listen to your- Shut up! If you people really are going to try to kill me, if you're truly going to hide the truth, then so be it. I won't show any mercy either. Machine life forms, the bunker, the commander, even the humans on the moon! I'll kill them all. In her hand, she gripped a sword which was meant to kill machine life forms. In her eyes, the light of her old self was gone. Suffering from her loneliness, focused only on revenge, she gazed quietly at her new enemy. Fearing a leak of confidential Yorha information, an order was issued to terminate A2. However, she was able to shake off pursuers and survive countless battles with machines. To her, everything had become an enemy, and she truly had nowhere she could run. Damn it! Sit still, would you? <laughs> Just throwing out random attacks like that isn't gonna work, you know. Then fight me head on like a man! Well, what do you expect? I'm a scanner! Combat was never meant to be my forte. Jeez, you talk way too much. And if you keep getting distracted like that, you're gonna show your weak point. Quit screwing around, damn it! Ugh! Nine S managed to hack into A2. He broke through her logic barriers and ended up in her personal data. All around her was nothing but white walls closing her in. Th this is hacking space. I've sealed your personal data inside your head. Okay then. Let's see here. Yorha test model A2, attacker number two. Due to the possibility of confidential information being leaked, the Council of Humanity has ordered your termination. <laughs> so you're one of the Commander's little dogs, huh? Man, you don't pull any punches. But it doesn't matter how much you shout in here, you're not gonna run away from me. A black fog began to wind around A2. It was a trap designed to restrict her personal data. That barrier's an installation type, but it faces inward. So no matter how much you thrash about, you're not getting out. <laughs> 
damn it! Don't you think you say that a little too much? What the hell did the commander tell you? I just told you, didn't I? You deserted, so there's an order for your termination. But playing rough's not really my thing, so I'm thinking I'll send you back like this. That's all, huh? Hmm? You couldn't get in any more information than just that? You scanner models are always curious, after all. Are you taunting me? I prepared that barrier so I could detain you, but... I think I've changed my mind. I'll be destroying your personal data here, like I was ordered. I'm gonna make you regret talking to me like that. 9S issued a command for A2's erasure. However, the black fog surrounding A2 wouldn't react beyond a certain point. On the contrary, something began to happen to 9S's body instead. He suddenly realized multiple black snake-like bits of data wrapping themselves around him. No way! It can't be! A counterattack type logic barrier? How did you... To put it simply, I got it from you. From me? Those bits of data wrapped further around 9S, slowly eliminating any possible chance of... As a, slowly eliminating any possible chances of escape. You're how number nine type S? This is the fourth time I've met that model. You were rather difficult to fight in the beginning. But, after fighting you so many times, I became increasingly aware of a scanner's habits. The others before you were the same. They fought with various attack patterns, but... You always end up trying to detain me with that damn hacking. It was pretty close call- it was a pretty close call the first time. But after the second time, I learned to block it with a barrier. This program was made just for you. A form of insurance. No! No! Damn it! I have to... Release the barrier! It's no use. That barrier was made in order to collapse your own personal data. You're not getting out of that no matter what you do. That's how you made it to be, isn't it? Damn! Damn it! They do! This is the fourth time I've heard you scream like that. You should pray that we don't meet again. We were wandering around a place known as the Forest Kingdom, looking for the leader of the area's weirdly aggressive machine life forms, the Forest King. And we finally found it within a broken down castle. It was... It was almost like a baby in appearance. We were caught off guard. It couldn't even walk on its own, much less carry a weapon. This thing was the Forest King? And if sensing our hesitation, she came. I was only there by chance. I had been disposing of machine life forms in the area, and their leader only happened to be there. The machine looked so small and weak that I didn't hesitate to run it through with my sword. Its cries of death rang from its core to my sword. This is the enemy. This is the enemy. This is the enemy. I repeated that over and over to myself. The android that had just dropped down before us had the same face as me. Yorha model number two. Her eyes gazed in my direction with a look of utter resignation. To be, that's an android. A Yorha type android. I knew exactly who they were, because I'd already killed them countless times. And just like always, I knew the order would once again be given to terminate me. I had no memories of ever encountering her before. But for some reason, I could feel a deep discomfort rise up from within me. Although she was a deserter, we were ordered to kill one of our own. A Yorha android. Doubts began to sprout in my heart. Was the Yorha unit standing before us really our enemy? Number 9 type S. Number 2 type B. The Yorha units I should have already killed so many times before. When I met them that time, 
They were completely different from how they'd been in the past. I don't know why, but it seemed like they saw each other as old friends. It could have been some kind of premonition that this was the end, or maybe even the beginning of something. Number 21. Number 16. Number four. If I die, I'll be joining all of you. So just wait for me, okay? We Yorha are weapons created to fight. We Yorha are a madness created to kill. This world is full of curses, and we are all links in a chain of killing one another. Even so, we have to keep fighting. That's why we have to keep killing. Even if our fates are wrong, we can't stop. Because, because that, that is, is the meaning, meaning of our, our existence. existence. End Act 3. My headphones died.